We are building an army for the kingdom of God. Somebody said an army for the kingdom of God. An army for the kingdom of God. My God. Got up this morning and just thinking about what God was doing coming down the highway from St. Louis. Had a first class ticket, but God instructed me after last night's impartation service to get in the car and drive back. And don't wait until tomorrow, because when the Lord uses me in those rams, he tells me to, to flee the city. And last night I did, but I began to have, before that, on my way to church, I had an experience with the Lord that I hadn't had in several years. I would have to say at least five, six, seven years. I'm gonna say that because it's been that long in my spirit and my remembrance. I was on my way to, to service and I was sitting in the car and a song came on the stereo. They had, picked me up in a limousine and I was sitting there talking to Crystal, just talking about nothing particular and just talking and the song came on and the presence of the Lord just came on me. And I, I, I said to her, I said, this song is so powerful and God just came on me. And he came on me in such a way that before I knew it, the power of God knocked me off the seat on the floor of the limo. And that's where I was on my back all the way to church. And I was trying to get up off the floor and God was talking to me. And when I got to the church, the pastor and everybody was waiting in the lobby. Jerry then was there with my sound and get all our luggage out. And it took me a few minutes to get out of the car and I got out of the car and I got as far as the, as the front lobby and the power of God just knocked me out in the lobby and I couldn't get up off the floor. And God began to talk to me about what he has given me. He began to talk to me about not being moved by the people. And he began to talk to me about how when I'm calling you to birth something in a people, I don't care if you have to start all over with five people. He said, I know what I'm doing because there was a void in the earth realm for real power. There's a whole lot of churches, but there's a void in the earth realm for the anointing and for real power. And when people praise God, you can feel it in your belly. He said, do not be deceived by people he said because that's what tricked Moses when he started letting the people tell them what to do and God said you will bring music when I say bring music because I'm not birthing out the same thing that's down the street I'm not birthing out the same thing that's in Texas or California I'm doing a new thing he said behold I will do a new thing have you not seen it have you not heard it Somebody say a new thing. Somebody say a new thing. Oh, y'all sit down. A new thing. A new thing. A new thing with the God that I serve. It's not trapped in A flat. I'm the old Abashaya. A new thing so that the God that I serve is not trapped in B flat. The God that we serve is not, does not have a dependency upon whether or not a person shows up to play a piano. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. I'm not hearing nobody say nothing because when you go to the prisons, some of them don't even allow all of that stuff in there. We got to learn how to tap God from down in our spirit. We such a lazy generation. We want everything from God, but we can't even give God a 20 minute praise. Who am I talking to right now? You sitting here today, you want God to save your children, to heal your body, to heal your family, and he can't even get three minutes of praise from you. You beg too much.